how to make a pixel nft collection quick and easy hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel today we will be making a pixel art nft collection in a very simple way so let's get into it now there are two different applications that you can use for this you can either go ahead with canva.com and you can create your own pixel art collection over here or if you want you can go on to pixelart.com uh, which is p-i-x-x-i-l Dot art.com to get started with creating your own pixel art collection now that is totally up to you both of these are simple and easy but today we will be continuing with pixel art so you're going to click on start drawing over here once you go on to pixelart.com and we're going to click on new drawing and then you're going to choose the size of your canvas now the size of your canvas basically means the actual amount of pixels that you are going to be able to fit in so these are not like to better understand i'm just gonna say these are the amount of squares or the amount of pixels available for you to be able to draw in the more the pixels the more detailed drawing you can create but that also means it's going to take you a lot more time so that is something you need to keep into mind so for that i recommend going with a 30 by 30 or a 20 by 20 to get started for this video i'm going to go with a 20 by 20 inch canvas so i'm gonna go with a 20 by 20 inch canvas but another thing i need you guys to keep in mind is i'm going ahead with a 20 by 20 inch canvas but for a bit more detail i would recommend that eventually you size up to a 30 by 30 inch canvas because it will allow you to add a lot more detail into your pixel art so if, so if i go on to OpenSea, you can easily create you know uh, nfts like these ones these pixel art nfts with a 20 by 20 inch canvas but if you go on ahead and you want to create something a bit more detailed like some of these nfts over here then for that you would need a larger canvas size so that is something to keep into consideration and we will just now open up our canvas so you can see i have the pixel size over here you can create a larger pixel size as well so you're going to select the pixel size to be at one for you to get started and then from the bottom right you're going to select the color so let's say i'm going to continue with black and i'm going to start outlining and creating the item that i want let's say that i want to create a lipstick so for that, I'm going to first create the packaging or the bottle of the lipstick in black. And then I'm going to create like a bottom over here. And then I'm going to change the color into this yellow. And you can open up the color gradient from over here as well to add your own colors. And then I'm just going to go ahead with black once more. And then I am going to go ahead with red like so. And maybe this is a bit too big so i'm gonna extend the bottle a bit like this and obviously if it is a larger uh if there are more pixels i would be able to you know create this in a lot more detail so now i'm just going to make like the cap of the uh like the cap you can make the cap or not if you want but just like that i have like a simple little illustration and now i can just increase the pixel size and i can stamp on my background of a singular color if you want a single color background if you want to add more details in your background you can do that as well but if you want a simple color one that is your option now i'm going to remove the background and i'll show you guys how you can add a bit more detail into your nfts so even with a simple 20 by 20 inch canvas if you go ahead with your one size pixel and go with a slightly different design so instead of making like a lipstick or, or a singular item you can create faces so for that i would just select this and i would just make the eyes like a emoticon kind of face like this so you want to match the eyes on both sides however you are creating that is totally up to you but just make sure to match them and then you're going to add the little nose and then what you can do to actually make this an entire collection is give it different expressions so in one of these i can give it like a simple smile and now you can enter like a white background and then you're just going to click on download over here you're going to click on download png and then you can just open up your png and you can see this over here you can enlarge it later on as well and then what you can do is once i have saved one of my nfts what i'm going to do is on the next one i'm going to give it a different expression and then i can just click on download over here and then so on and so forth uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna give this one another one and what you can do when you're downloading this is you can download the size that you want as well so you can download the specific size the height and width that you want for this png 
So I'm just increasing the height and width and just like that even when I was working on a smaller canvas even when I uh, you know chose a smaller canvas of 20 by 20 I can you know create a larger illustration and these I haven't added the background for but you're going to add the background obviously so we, we're just going to increase our pixel size and you can create any kind of background you want let's say I want to continue with a pink background and I'm just going to increase the pixel size a bit a tiny bit to enter my background over here like this I'm just stamping on my background and now I'm just gonna go ahead with a smaller size and fill out the internal parts just like that now I'm gonna go ahead back with a black to match up the eye shape now after that you can add a lot more detail so you can just go ahead and then remove these from over here and go ahead and add the new mouth shape that you want like this and then remove any of the excess background or add more background where you remove the previous illustration form so like this instead of adding you know the background you can also add you know teeth if you want and then you can also add multiple different things there are so many other options you can add as well because with faces there are so many facial expressions that you can choose from you can choose to then add eyebrows in a few of these illustrations as well you can add you know angry eyebrows happy eyebrows however you want to uh however you want to display your character and just like that you will have your nft pixel art collection ready and after that you can just go on ahead on OpenSea or any other platform of your own choice to begin uploading your nft collection now just as an example i'm gonna download i'm gonna go ahead and download this and you're gonna make sure of one thing that the height and width that you choose is the same so i'm gonna use 1700 as the standard for the nft collection and once you have chosen the standard you're gonna download all of your nfts in the same size so this is gonna be 1700 and then i'm gonna go ahead and create the second in my uh illustration which could be a nft with more with a feminine kind of nft and then i'm going to remove the mouth from over here in the mouth space what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a red shade to create some lips like this and then i'm going to go ahead with the pink and fill out the background and i think i'm going to extend the lips a bit more like so and you can also click on the darker color and add like a gradient to the lips so over here I've added like a gradient to the lips. You can obviously choose however you want to mix and match the lip colors and you can add multiple different shades just to, you know, uh, make it seem a bit more realistic, a bit more, you know, colored. And just like that, I'm going to download the second one and I'm going to choose 1700 by 1700 and download this and so on and so forth. You're going to continue on with your collection. You can go with a lot more details and just change some minute things in each individual NFT to create your own own entire collection and that is how a lot of nft collections are made so you can see with these kinds of crypto punk nfts they are almost the same base the same kind of person in different costumes so you can create that you can create uh multiple different people like this you know the same kind of base illustration is used and then the things on top are just changed and you can follow the same method to create your own simple and easy nft collection so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.